It is six minutes after six, making healthy food more accessible in Walnut Hills. Happening today, a new co-op grocery store working to raise money to basically rebuild, open a brick and mortar at the site of the old crumbled Kroger on McMillan Street. Yeah, this store closed in 2017 and it's been demolished. WCPO 90's reporter Madeline Ottilie is live there now with a look at how this co-op would work. Hey, Madeline. Adrian, Julie, good morning. This store closing had a really big impact on this neighborhood. Keep in mind, part of this area is considered a food desert, meaning a lot of people here have limited access already to affordable and healthy food. And that's really what this group is trying to fix. A lot of our residents are taking one or two buses to the next nearest grocery store, and it's been very difficult for many folks to access food. This is what's left of the old Kroger store in Walnut Hills. It closed about five years ago, leaving many residents without a grocery nearby. In order to have a successful, thriving Walnut Hills business district and attract people to move to the neighborhood, uh, you have to have a grocery store. Now the group behind a new co-op grocery thinks they can help. To see that site come down, means that we can have a new beginning. Mona Jenkins is the co-founder of Queen Mother's Market Cooperative. It'll be a full service grocery store focused on affordable, healthy food. As a co-op, it'll be owned by this community and the people who work there. As a result, you are able to vote on things that happen. Your voice is within any decision. The goal, open a brick and mortar shop on the block where Kroger used to be, but they'll need money to do it. That's why they're launching a new push to raise $4 million. For a number of years, we have been somewhat disregarded. Um, some of the investment has not come to this neighborhood, and we don't have to wait on that to happen. We can take it upon ourselves. Jenkins says the project will create opportunities for local farmers and suppliers. The Walnut Hills Redevelopment Foundation is on board as a partner. The food that people will be have access to will have potentially been harvested within the hour and grown by people they know right there in their neighborhood. Here's where you come in tonight. The group is launching a launch party where you can learn more details. That's happening in Esoteric Brewing starting at 6 p.m. It's also where you can decide if you want to get involved in this. They're hoping to open a physical shop by fall of 2024. Reporting live in Walnut Hills, Madeline Ottilie, WCPO 9 News.